Hi, and welcome to the Add Blog Roll Link Tutorial brought to you by WPTutor.com. This tutorial will help you to add links to the sidebar of your blog and to organize them. To get to the Add Link page, click Blog Roll, Add Link. The Add Link page appears and gives you a number of options for adding links to your site. Name is simply the name you want to give to the link. The address is the URL of the website. And description is a brief description of the website you are linking to. New links can be put into a number of categories. Just select or deselect them from the list. Or type a new one in the box and click add to add it to the list of categories. The new category will be automatically selected and highlighted. Let's have a look at the more advanced link relationship or XFN options. Although the little box next to rel looks like it should be typed in, it actually doesn't need to be. All of the options will be filled in automatically as you check the boxes or choose the options below. The first option allows you to identify the link as a link to another website of yours. If you check this option, all the other options will be dimmed. The friendship options include contact, acquaintance, friend, or none. You can choose whether you have physically met the person or not. A coworker would be someone who works in the same company as you. Not necessarily very close, but in the same company. A colleague is more likely to be a superior or someone who you work with very often or quite close to in your job. Geographically, the person can be a co-resident, neighbor, or neither. The family relationships include child, kin, parent, sibling, spouse, or none of these. The link can also optionally be labeled as one of the following romantic labels. A muse, a crush, a date, or a sweetheart. Let's have a look at the other advanced options. Click the little plus in the right hand corner to open the advanced menu box. You can associate this link with an image by entering the address of that image in the image address box. RSS address allows you to specify the RSS feed address for the website you are linking to. Notice for just about anything else you wish to add. You can optionally rate the link. Zero is for no rating and one is the worst and nine is the best. Go to the target box and click the little plus to open it and we'll see what it's got in store for us. The blank option will make this link open in a new page or a new tab in your web browser. Top will make sure that the link opens outside of a frame if it is contained in one. So if this link is inside a frame, you click the link, it will open in a tab or page outside of that frame. None will simply use the normal style for links and the link will open in the same window that it's clicked. Let's check out the visible options. Click the little plus to open the box. These two will determine whether the link will be visible on your blog. As should be obvious, if it's yes, you'll see it on your blog. If no, well then you won't see it. But it's not deleted altogether. You just won't see it in the public area. Click Add Link to save all of these changes. After saving, you'll be returned to the Add Link screen. We can see our new link is now in the list of links with its name, its short description, and the categories that it was placed into. Thank you very much for joining us for the Add Link tutorial. Remember, there are tons of WordPress tutorials available at wptutor.com. Head on over to find out everything you need to know to get started with WordPress.